right Yo, now. what is going on guys? It is Prodigy today, and today this is the Q&A day. Funny story about it is that I for totally forgot I even made one. I was looking through my YouTube videos yesterday, and I saw I did a Q&A submission, and I was like, oh wait, I gotta do the video. So here it is, guys. For those of you who did ask me questions, thank you. And hopefully I'll do some more in the future, and hopefully I'll get some more questions. But for those who actually did participate in it, thank you guys. So let's get right into the questions. So the first question is from DLA Clips, and he asked, did any of my family members not like me playing video games? And honestly, my family was really supportive. I mean, before, like, I got, like, really into it, like, when I was just playing casually. Like, my parents wouldn't let me play on the weekdays. They would let me only play on the weekends for a certain set of hours because they wanted me to, like, focus on school and grades. They wanted me to do good in school, you know. They wanted me to, you know, not spend all my time playing Call of Duty or whatever games I played. But, you know, once I got older and I showed promise of actually making something out of this gaming thing, they are like, we'll let you do it. We'll let you do whatever you need to do, whatever you want to do to make you happy. So if your parents don't like let you play, or anyone who's watching this, if your parents don't let you play it, like, t it, it takes time to, you know, like, convince them to do, let you do you and to decide to do what you want while still like you know maintaining a good atmosphere in school you know getting your grades good and everything because as long as you get your priorities done there should be no reason why you can't you know play some games for a couple hours until you know your parents think you're well off doing whatever you need to do all right guys so the next question is from native cod kyle miller he asks where do i see myself in five years and honestly i see myself in the obviously in the gaming scene if this you know Activision CWL stuff you know gets better and starts taking off more and you know the competitive scene is still growing and is big and I still like start grinding and everything like I've been doing somewhere in the competitive scene or also having like a pretty big stream in YouTube hopefully I have a big enough like you know following to support me I'm hoping to do that in the next three years but in the next five years like at least have like a grounded you know basis of like people knowing who I am and I have my own like career and brand of myself but I, I know I'll get there regardless it just takes a lot of work and effort but I know I'll get there and what are the three teammates that I would have not including all phase and OG members well, I'm gonna choose one for me, so probably Scump and Clayster. And then the last one would probably have to either be. Would probably maybe be TP because he's a really selfless player. But definitely Scump and Clayster, for sure. I don't know about the fourth, that's, that's kind of a hard one. Alright, the last couple of questions come from Clayton Crooker. And he asked two questions as well. He asked me, how do I get better at Call of Duty? And I know this is going to sound, you know, like stereotypical and, you know, kind of repetitive. But honestly, the best way is to just play a lot. Like, I used to be terrible at this game. Like, everything you see now, this was not even happening. Like, in Black Ops 1, MW3, like, I used to be so bad. And I literally, the way I did it was I just wanted to be better than my friends because they're all, they didn't want to play with me because I was so bad at the game. So I literally just kept playing and playing. I played in tournaments, I joined teams, we just played all the time. And watch people, you know, like watch people who are better than you and who do bigger things and learn from what they do and how they play. And try not to copy that, not really like copy it fully, but imitate some of the things they do in game. Because that will help you a lot, regardless. But watching people play, playing a lot, and playing people who are better than you really help. Playing people who have a bigger skill gap or are better than you is a great way of getting better because you, the, you learn from them as well. And the last question you asked was how do I propel myself in the gaming community and the competitive gaming scene? Basically, just playing tournaments. There's a lot of Twitter tournaments, UMG, GB tournaments. Finding a team, team scrimming, getting your name out there, you know, 
Start small, don't like go to all these like big events and these big tournaments for a lot of money first. Start playing like team scrims. Let people around you, like on Twitter, know who you are. Then you get on bigger and better teams and then you get in tournaments and stuff. And you start winning those, money aids, wagers. Like I started off just playing with friends and some team scrims and, and clan battles. And I started playing tournaments and winning those. And money aids and wagers and winning those. And it just get higher and higher. So just keep practicing, guys. Thanks for all the comments and and questions. I really appreciate answering them. Hopefully, I'll do them later on in the future. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll be in the live stream later on today. I'll put that down in the description below. Thanks for watching again. This is Prodigy. Peace out, guys.